I will go I will go anywhere you lead me yeah. I will go let me give you a secret the moment you find out that your atmosphere is tensed you are sensing demonic activities or anger or some attributes change immediately look for worship and change that climate hear what i'm telling you the moment you begin to sense unease in your spirit the spirit of fear other spirits are joining the queue waiting for fear or anger or any of these spirits you can change the atmosphere immediately hallelujah is this how my life will be what is the meaning of this why was i born in nigeria my parents had the opportunity to go abroad they, once those thoughts start coming just know that it is the devil that's a luciferian spirit wanting to destroy you will this man really favor me he said tomorrow he will bless me but how am i sure very quickly change that atmosphere it's a secret your phone is not just for you to browse remove a lot of rubbish songs and put correct godly fire carrying songs arrange them as a file so that when duty calls without thinking twice hallelujah the devil looks at you and says the way i destroyed your father and your mother that is how i will shred your life to pieces you see what is happening in this nation and just when he wants to speak you just play something hallelujah you have won the victory let the voice just keep talking let's see who will survive don't stop the voice from talking you just create that atmosphere listen don't waste your time shutting the voice you bring in another voice my bible says the light shineth in darkness listen you go to bed and you wake up with some kind of dream just play worship and go to bed let it put it on repeat if god helps you and you can find one that has tongues in between while you are sleeping hallelujah listen please don't think i'm wasting your time master the art of controlling your atmosphere don't give satan that room the world is negative hear me the world is negative in many regards you switch on the news you hear that this is happening they just deduct some money from your your account to add to it and you see what is left you feel like throwing away your phone that's the time to change your atmosphere don't please don't forget this it's called the law of atmosphere every spirit is atmosphere dependent their manifestations when the devil wants to come he does not just budge into you there is an atmosphere that he has to wait for hallelujah passionate love desire to please god and to obey him intense moments of prayer and worship please look at me it is good to pray but in addition to prayer take out time to worship god apostle what does it mean to worship god one to sing you can sing praises and worship god or you can be in that atmosphere where you are pouring your life and your everything to him in worship are you ready number four what is the fourth key that secures the manifest presence of god walking in humility write it down please walking in humility psalm 34 verse 18 the fourth key you want to secure 
the manifest presence of God the Bible says the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save it such as be of a contrite spirit pride and glory will not go hand in hand that means you want to secure weightier dimensions of God's presence father I stand in awe of you that you can do this through my hands and my life thank you for your presence and the wonderful things that happen and God will say just because I gave you this dimension you are walking in humility people will sing your praises and clap thank God for them but you remind yourself I am nothing without him and he says you are ready for another dimension weightier dimensions of his presence hallelujah koinonia please hear me i have a duty to admonish you fight pride fight pride out of your life don't say we are like that fight it every time you see pride in your life don't tolerate it whatsoever pride in ministry pride in business the pride of life pride based on accomplishments it does not mean to not acknowledge what God is doing. You have to acknowledge him. It does not mean to not receive gratefully when people thank God for your life. But please fight pride. You know what pride is? Pride is a state of self-sufficiency where you believe that every result you are getting is because of your own effort. Now you are in trouble. Humility is not throwing away the truth or the fact about who you are and what God has done in your life, but a, an unashamed and a vocal acknowledgement that I am what I am today because of him. God, you've made me a billionaire, you may say. Thank you for that. If you say I'm not a billionaire, that's not humility. That's ignorance. You are a billionaire. God has blessed you. God has helped you. Apostle, should I trek instead of entering my car? That is, that is the labor of a fool. The Bible says to weary every one of them. Are we together? But humility is that in the midst of that, you take your eyes away from these things and say, Father, it is because of you. I am what I am by the grace of God. Humility. Finally, what is the final key that secures the presence of God? Sacrifice sacrifice as a lifestyle oh, not just as something you do traditionally sacrifice of everything your life your resources everything sacrifice secures the presence of God Psalm 50 and verse 5 gather unto me my saints he says 50 and verse 5 those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice Hallelujah. Very, very powerful. When you read 1 Kings chapter 3, 1 Kings chapter 3, the full text is 3 to 14. We may not be able to read everything, but let's see how far we can go. Solomon loved the Lord, the Bible says. Are you seeing all these steps there? Then walking in the statutes of David his father, only he sacrificed and burned incense in high places. Verse 4. He says, The king went to Gibeon to sacrifice there, for that was the great high place. And he offered a thousand bond offerings, motivated by love. Verse 5. In Gibeon, who came? The Lord. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. And God said, Ask what I will give you. That's a blank check. Most of us, even God will be surprised. You will think he's not hearing you again. Just listening to everything you are saying. What did you say I should give you? I should give you heaven and move away from there. I should give you my throne. Because many people sometimes, we, we don't have limits to our passions and desires. When you have desires without limits, it will lead you to carnality. You must get to a realm where you know that enough is enough. Some of us, if God asks now, what should I give you? Anything. He says, stand up from your throne. That was the mistake of Haman. What shall we do to this man? He said, let him climb the king's horse. 
and wear the king's robe out of the abundance of the heart the mouth was that means one day he would have killed the king esther helped him to kill him fast if not one day her man would have killed the king he said i have served you in righteousness in uprightness you have kept me you have kept for him in this great kindness thou has given him a son to sit on his throne as it is this day verse 7 he says now O lord thou hast made thy servant king instead of david my father and i am but a little child this is a kingo not a king about to be elected or about to be a king that is currently seated and he said lord they call me king but i know what i am before you i am a little child i know not how to go out and how to come in what display of humility he says and thy servant is in the midst of thy people which thou hast chosen a great people that cannot be numbered or counted for multitude verse 9 give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge your people that i may be discerned between good and bad for who is able to judge these people this so great a people the bible said the speech pleased the lord are you seeing all the steps i'm leading now he did something here that pleased the lord that solomon had asked this thing even in his requests and petitions he was pleasing the lord and the lord said because thou hast not asked for long life neither for riches for thyself nor the life of your enemies but you have asked for yourself understanding to decide judgment behold i have done according to all thy words i have given thee a wise and understanding heart so that there was none like thee before thee neither after thee shall there arise any like unto thee and i have also given thee that which thou hast not asked both riches and honor so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days humility is a very powerful spiritual quality that can secure the presence of god do you